And we are back. All excess video blog. My name is Ryan Roxy. Thank you. That's how I want to start out this video blog. Thank you so much for sending all the videos that you have been sending in. I know there's more coming in the next couple of weeks because we are in the home stretch of, you know, just a little while. You, one of you is going to come up with me and my band, Roxy77, and we're going to rock out the song that we've been learning the last few weeks, which of course is Schools Out. And I've been talking a lot about the song structure. I've been talking about li licks, the riffs, scales. We've been learning a lot about things. But now one of the most important tools that you have going for you is attached to your head. And those tools are your ears. So today I'm going to talk about ear training. Of course, I always say you play the right tools. You start off with the right tools. And these amazing Gibson 2014 models have been great tools for me and throughout my career. Um, this one in particular, this SG, is actually the tools of the trade of the original Alice Cooper band. Both guitar players from the original Alice Cooper band played SGs. This one in particular is a Derek Trucks model. It's a very cool model. It has that uh, traditional tailpiece, a tutomatic uh, tailpiece here. No, as you'll notice, there's no push pull pots here. It's all very stock and, and, and standard because it, it supports some 57 classic humbucker pickups. It's got this vintage red satin finish, which is one of my favorite finishes, especially for an SG. And it's basically an all around solid, solid rock and roll instrument or rock and roll tool, if you like, because at the end of the day, these are tools that help you create music and get you to the next, next level in your career. And why not start, you know, with your second guitar that you want to get? Why not start with getting it first? And this is one of those models that I would suggest you getting. Let's let's learn some ear training with this Derek Trucks model, shall we? So we'll go review the lick that we did, uh, the overdub part that we did last week, which was... So that's third finger, eighth fret, and then just do sort of a little pentatonic sort of eighth fret, and then hit the open first string, seventh fret, open string, fifth fret, open string, then back. So it alternates between the second and first strings, eighth, seventh, and fifth frets. So let's see if you can sing that, because I think there's a singer in every single one of you. Da, 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 da. That comes over the chorus tag and is actually the melody line for the chorus tag. So, uh, no more pencils, no more books, no more teachers. Looks. So that's a cool way to start your ear training is just play a note, any note that you want, and sing it. Ah, ah, ah. Now, I don't know if there's auto tune on our final track, but it should be close to being in tune. Um, but I know the guitar doesn't lie, and this guitar's in tune. So. Hopefully my voice doesn't as well. Practice all around the guitar neck with your ear training. It's, it's a good way, and, it's, and like I said, it's a good tool to use in order to get into a band and to actually learn new songs. Not just schools out, but any song you want to learn is going to involve ear training because not everything is going to be on tablature. And in, certainly in live situations, you're going to need to have that ear, especially if you start changing different parts. What if the singer just yells out, okay, we got to go straight to the chorus. And then, you know, you'll know exactly where the chorus is and what notes they are, because you'll have to hear the rest of the band play the same parts as you. So between these Gibson tools and these tools attached to your head, <laughs> good luck and your quest. And we'll see you on the next All Excess video blog.